and I'm with my good friend Trevor Matthews. Trevor Matthews is a wealth of knowledge. Trevor, welcome to the show. Thank you, Ty. So tell us about yourself. I've, what is it that you're doing? Well, I run a company called Refrigeration Mentor. It's a training, education, and mentorship organization to help refrigeration contractors, technicians, and business owners, you know, really learn about refrigeration. So you love teaching and helping people learn. Yeah, just like you, brother. I do love it. You know so mean? you found a need in industry and you said, hey, I'm going to go fill that need. Yeah, exactly. I really believe that we need more educators just like us mm -hmm. in the refrigeration industry to really help uplift the knowledge and uplift, you know, technicians out there by doing better and wanting to learn, you know, and inspiring them to be better. That's absolutely right. We met each other several years ago at the yeah. HPC Educators Conference. Yeah. So there's all these instructors around the world and I met you then and, and it's great to see you grow and thank see you. you reach out and move to new levels. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, thank you. And same with you. I feel like as a community, our community, uh, it continues to grow and we continue to expand it. We need more of you out there who are willing to train and educate the next generation, you know. So how did you get into HVAC? So originally, I, I'm a first generation technician, you know, I, I didn't know what refrigeration or HVAC was when I first started and uh, I w did the uh, university and then I went to college and then I, you know, I didn't have any work at that time, you know, and so it's going to an employment agency. So I'm like, I need a change, I need to find something. So refrigeration actually found me. And it found me through, I was going to go to uh, college again to become a bartender. And when I went to the registry office, I met a guy and he was taking the refrigeration course. So I'm, I'm from Cape Breton. I, you know, I ask questions and I'm friendly like this, right? And he's like, I'm taking a refrigeration program. What's refrigeration? You know what I mean? And he was like, well, you know, you go to a grocery store and you grab some milk and it's cold. I'm like, yeah, I've, I bought groceries before, you know, I'm mid-20s. <laughs> And he was like, uh, well, yeah, it's, people need to fix that, install that. I'm like, well, I want to travel. The, can you travel with this, you know, this career? And he was like, well, do you think you can, you need refrigeration on the other side of the planet? And I'm like, okay, that makes sense. And he was like, uh, can you make any money doing this? And he was like, yeah, my dad does refrigeration, makes 50 bucks an hour. I'm like, what? $50 an hour? So that day I signed up for uh, an HVAC and refrigeration program. Oh, and then here you are now. Yeah. I think that's awesome. You've noticed that every single person we've talked to has an entirely different background. And uh, people that didn't go to college, people that have gone to college, and everybody ends up and they found their, their happy place here, what we're doing. I think that's yeah. awesome. What advice would you have for somebody new coming into the trade? That's a great question, Ty. And it's really be curious. Be curious about the things that you don't know because there is such a wide variety of things you can learn yeah. in refrigeration from math, to physics, to science, all these cool things in refrigeration that I never even expected or even thought of when I first started out. You know, first I was just thinking that I can travel the world with this trade and I can make a lot of money, be financially stable, which I did. I traveled the world, I made a lot of money, and now I'm trying to give back. But inside it, it's like be very curious, you know, and ask lots of why. Why is that? Why does that do what it does? Because you ask the why, you be curious, you start to learn more. That's awesome. Now, with your refrigeration mentorship program, you can help not only technicians, but also businesses. So yes. how, how can somebody get a hold of you and how can you help their business? Awesome. So best way to get a hold of me is reach out to me through uh, refrigerationmentor.com uh, or reach out to me on LinkedIn or Facebook. But how I help businesses, I go in and I help build a training program for them if they need that. Or, and I work with the company themselves on finding what they need. So, you know, not every refrigeration company needs the same type of training, right? right? So I customize the training specifically for that contractor. So if you have a, a mix of uh, talent, I go in and I work with the technicians and I find out what do they need, what do they have, and then we build a plan around that for the contractors to, to really help their knowledge grow because a lot of the technicians are really smart out there, but they need maybe some motivation, maybe some technical skills. So it's a lot of customization for them, I believe. And how this helps a business. So if you have a business that you want to increase revenue through reducing callbacks or troubleshooting time, for example, or even customer service, having your technician to be able to talk confidently in front of your customers about multiple solutions is very important and so I can work with businesses on that. We could talk about this all day long <laughs> yes. and we have the last yeah. three days we keep fighting, we keep talking about refrigeration thing. we need to get some of this on film so here we are just a little introductory if you want to know to learn more website his YouTube channel Facebook Instagram LinkedIn like he's got everything awesome person right here to learn from and awesome. man thank you so much for spending uh, some time talking with us. Thank you so much for having and me. I can't wait to uh, talk more. Yeah excited. Never stop thank learning. You.